Since when do you do yoga? New year, new me. Um, what are you doing? New year, new me. Since when have you ever written a poem? New year, new me. Okay, well, now I'm actually speechless. New year, new me, baby. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're excited and ready to get some motivation for starting the new year right. So I was thinking about how I wanted to approach this video and I think what will be the most impactful and authentic is to share with you the things that I am personally working on for the new year and hopefully these will give you some ideas and inspiration for yourself. And my goal here is rather than being really generic, like get healthy, exercise, to be very specific and actionable of how I'm actually going to implement those things so that I'm more likely to follow through and make changes in my life. Action item number one is a past year review. This is something that was developed by Tim Ferriss. He wrote The 4-Hour Workweek, and this blew my mind. I had never thought about approaching the future by looking at the past. Past behavior is the best predictor of future behavior, and the things that have worked for you in the past are the things that are most likely to continue working for you in the future. So you wanna take a look at your past year, and a really great way to do this is taking a look at your calendar from the past year to remind yourself of every month and what are the things that you've accomplished? What are the things that have made you the happiest and made the biggest impact on your life in a positive way in 2018? So the activities that you've done, the habits you've adopted, the things you've accomplished, and also the people in your life who have brought you up and brought you the most joy. Now on the flip side of that, what are your lows of 2018? What are the habits that have not served you well? What are the worst things that have happened to you? And who are those people in your life who are bringing you down, who are bringing toxic energy into your life? So you wanna take the things on that positive list and you want to commit to doing more of that in 2019. And go further than that, put those things in your calendar, schedule them so that they're more likely to continue happening in 2019. And for the things on the negative column, what you wanna do is eliminate or reduce all of those things on that list. So step number two is to get motivated. You're not gonna accomplish anything if you don't have that underlying motivation that's going to drive you forward to actually committing and accomplishing your goals. Something that I started doing about a month ago that has made a huge impact, that has made me feel more motivated than I ever have is identifying specific role models, learning about them, getting in their head, reading their books and everything you can about them, and using that as a source of guidance and inspiration for how you wanna to get to the next level in your life. I've been listening to their books or books about them as I do other things in my life. So as I'm driving, as I'm cooking, as I'm cleaning, I have my earphones in and I'm just getting that in my head. And when I'm in a situation where I feel stuck or unmotivated, I think about them. I think about what would Richard Branson do in this scenario? How would they get past it? Next is to create a specific vision. There are a lot of different ways you could do this. Some people like to write out their New Year's resolutions, but for me, what's worked for me in the past is creating a vision board. And I make a digital vision board using the website PicMonkey. So I put pictures and words in different categories of my life and what I want to accomplish. So career, family, health, relationships, general goals, they all go in their categories on this vision board and I set it as my desktop background because that is something that I'm looking at and interacting with every single day so I'm constantly being reminded of it. And the next thing I wanted to do this year is to adapt a word or a phrase that really represents the number one thing that I'm focused on and I'm working on for this next year. This year my word is going to be confident because that is the thing I probably struggle with the most in my life. I have a lot of self-doubt and the things that I'm tackling for 2019 are extremely scary for me. They're big things that I'm doing and the only way I'm going to push through that is with confidence. So I'm going to give a little challenge to all of you guys watching this video. Think about your life and the main things you want to accomplish in 2019 and what is one word or phrase that represents that, that you can continue to repeat in your mind to give you motivation. Leave it down in the comments below. I would love to see what yours are. Next up is health. I decided to choose the top three things I wanted to work on to improve my health in 2019. And the first is 
eating a healthy breakfast. And specifically what I'm going to be eating is my veggie breakfast quiche. I have the recipe for this on my channel. I will leave it linked down below, but this is something that I could prepare in advance. It has protein, it has vegetables and carbs, and all I have to do is reheat it and eat it. So that is something I feel like I could commit to. Number two is to eat more vegetables. And the way I'm going to do this is by meal prepping my veggie soup and eating that with lunch and dinner every day. I just got an assortment of vegetables, usually onion, broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, whatever vegetables you like or have on hand, boil them in some water, and then I blend that all up in the blender. I put it in a clear pitcher in my refrigerator. So when it's time to eat it, all I have to do is pour it into a bowl, reheat it on the stove or microwave, and eat it. It just makes it really simple and easy, and you're getting a lot of vegetables in one serving. And number three for exercise, I really think the key for picking an exercise plan is again by looking at the past. What have you been able to do and stick to and enjoy doing in the past? Have you been able to do running? Have you been able to do workout classes or go on daily walks? Whatever has worked for you in the past is most likely what's going to work for you in the future. Now for your physical space, this is something that I think is worth focusing on because your living environment affects and reflects your mental state. So having your living environment in order will help you feel better. There's so much I could say on this topic, but if I had to pick one specific habit that makes the biggest impact on your living environment, it's the one touch method. And that method is pretty self-explanatory. You just want to touch your items one time. So when you walk in the door, put your jacket where it belongs instead of putting it on the couch. As you're doing your makeup, put your eyeshadow palette back in its place as you're using it. So going back to the one touch method that as you use items, you put them away, will transform your life and your living space. And the last thing that I really wanna focus on for 2019 is helping others. By lifting others up, it also helps lift ourselves up. Offering people more compliments. It really costs nothing, it takes very little effort, but it's something that you just need to be cognizant of. As you're interacting with people in your life, Build them up, tell them the things you like about them and appreciate about them. And if you're picking up the Starbucks drink, tell the barista that you like her name or tell your mom that you really appreciate her being so thoughtful and generous. Whatever it is, just try to make an effort to compliment and build up the people around you as often as you can. Right, I actually have like five more things on this list, but I feel like this video is getting pretty long and I just wanna focus it on, for me, what are the most important things that I am focusing on to make 2019 an amazing year. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you got some ideas from it. Don't forget to leave down below what is your word or phrase that you are going to use to motivate yourself in 2019. I would love to hear that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I have a lot of motivational content coming up. And also, you will notice I didn't mention planning at all in this video. And that is because I have a video coming up that's going to be covering planning in depth. So look forward to that. And with all of that said, Thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. New year, new me, baby. New year, new me, baby. Ryan, what happened to new year, new you? Oh, about that. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. I decided to do that for next year. You know, 2020 is just a nice round number. Let's go with 2020. And don't worry, I mean, I'll, I'll get to that later.